All right, headed to our private road. You subscribers and guys that have been watching know this one. There's probably gonna be a lot of snow here. Take about a half an hour maybe. So hopefully Benny can get some nice shots. Yes. We're here. Have no fear. Nobody likes plow stakes, Benny. I was just saying that. Nobody freaking puts plow stakes in. And and the thing is, they'll all call in the spring. You messed up my grass. You messed up my grass. Come back and fix it. I don't think enough contractors freaking do the if you don't plow stake we're not responsible thing. It certainly would be, I'll tell you that. Depends on what's in the contract, I guess. Or if anybody reads it for that matter. Well, you know, the way I see it, and I know some, some people do it, the best way in my perspective, you guys listening, is if you got residential driveways and they don't want to stake it, the best thing to do is you charge them, what you would charge them for a normal plowing uh, storm, like a six inch storm, say if it's a $50 plow, you charge them $50 in the fall to come stake, stake the driveway. You use your stakes and you go and you put them in yourself. And you tell them with this $50 service of putting the plow stakes in, we are held liable for any damage. So if you actually mess up the grass, you go back and you fix it in the spring because you, you put the plow stakes in. But if they don't want to pay the charge to plow stake it, you tell them we're not responsible for any damages on the lawn. So if we have to come back and fix something, you have to pay us. And usually when you when you say that, you put the customer in that, in that like point of view, they're like, yeah, I'll pay you to come put the stakes in because if you mess up the grass, it's covered. And then you got plow stakes, and you also get to do a couple days of going around plow staking a bunch of properties and making money in the fall, you know? And in my mind, that's the best way to handle something like that, I think. All right, Benny's going out into the elements for you guys. Get some good video. I've gotten comments also guys about um, not having a strobe on my truck. So just to answer that real quick, I really can't plow with strobes. They really freaking make me sick. Give me a headache. And um, you know, this is this right here is one of like the, the busiest streets that I actually plow on. So what I'll do is just put my, uh, put my hazards on and be uh, pretty careful about uh, backing in and out checking both ways a couple times but um you know i don't i personally just don't know how you guys with these strobes that are led and and uh got like 10 or <laughs> 10 or 12 different lights flashing at once i mean during the day i guess you don't really see it as much but once that nighttime comes it's really just a, a big distraction in my mind it's just really really distracting some people have mentioned the uh, the slow burn um, strokes, which those definitely aren't as bad. I might be able to deal with something like that. It's just not something that I've ever uh, ever wanted to end up spending the money on, guys. I mean, there's uh, debates back and forth, obviously, of whether or not you really should have that or not. But um, you know, it's just one of those things. Some people prefer them, some people don't.